lot of clients ask me how many types of enrollment periods we have and which enrollment period should I choose. So at a high level, there are three enrollment periods. One is your initial enrollment period. It's called IEP, general enrollment period called GEP. Then there is something called a special enrollment period called SEP. Let's go deeper into enrollment. So the first type of enrollment is initial enrollment. What is initial enrollment? Let's say June of this year, I turned 65. So initial enrollment period is active for the seven month window, which is three months prior to June, the month of June, and three months post month after June. So those are the seven months that your initial enrollment is active. So you have seven month window, which is your IEP, it's initial enrollment period. And this is active when you turn 65. And you can actually enroll into part B when you have a seven month window, which is the initial enrollment window. What is special enrollment period? Special enrollment period or SEP. Let's take for an example, your spouse works and you are under your spouse's group insurance coverage. Then your spouse has retired. So now you are actually looking to enroll in part B. This is a special situation, special situation where your spouse's group coverage has ended. So now you, you are under a special situation. So it's called a special enrollment period and this special enrollment period actually lasts from the time of termination of your group insurance coverage. It lasts for eight month window that you have time to enroll in part B. If you don't enroll in part B within that special enrollment window or SCP, you might be getting penalties and lifetime penalties. Those are not good. So you have to engage, you have to call us or connect with us either through a webinar or a phone call or an email. And we're going to explain you that how to not to be on the penalty list. And this is simple phone call, simple phone call. Don't procrastinate, don't wait, because you have an eight month window during the special enrollment window. And if you don't enroll, then you might be getting a penalty. And those, those penalties last for the whole lifetime. And most of my clients ask me, how much penalty should I pay? Or what is the amount of the penalty? It's actually, if you think you're paying $170 premium per month, 10%. 10% of the premium, approximate, these numbers are approximate, there is a complex math behind it, but it's 10%. So you are paying almost every month and you should not pay. That's the, that's the most important thing. It's not about $17 that you're paying extra. You should not have paid that $17. And you could have used that $17 to take an extra prescription drug plan, which is like $10 per month. So don't delay. If you're on a SEP, special enrollment period, your window ends in within eight months. So you have eight months of time, call on the day one, call on the day one, and then we're going to help you with that. We ask, we ask all our clients, if you have missed initial enrollment period, if you have missed the special enrollment period, then there's a general enrollment period from January 1st to March 31st. That's the window. That's the window for three months. And within that window, if you actually enroll, then I think you will be good. You will be good. And if you miss these three enrollment windows, you might be subjected to lifetime penalties. So these penalties are not a good thing, but you have to do everything in your power to make sure we don't get these penalties.